We're now going to do a pre-start and a start. And as soon as we sit down on the flight deck, the very first thing I do is make sure the paw is towards the pilot. Landing gear is selected down. The handle is one turn and the switch is off. That's the very first thing I do when I sit down. Secondly, we put our life jackets on and our seat belts. I've got a really nice uh, CG calculator where you can put each of the basic elements and when we get done we can see if we're in CG range whether we need the sandbags in the back of the airplane or not. The airplane empty weight is 6300, its gross weight is 87, so we've got a lot of useful load. If you'd put that back to your right I'd be grateful. Then we run the pre-start checklist and it says if airplane has been in the water for more than an hour lift each door hatch and check for water. Now obviously it's not been in the water in the last hour, but like I told you, I've got a door I can open there and two in the main cabin to visually look for water if I've been in the water for any given uh, part of time. First flight of the day, we sump the tanks, which has been done. We turn the aux power on on station 26, which runs all my dome lights, we've done that. We've done the life jackets. We've briefed the passengers for emergency procedures and that includes how to use their life jackets and how to use the emergency exits, how to use the seat belt cutter, and where the fire extinguishers are, one in the very back of the cabin and one behind me. And we've checked the fire suppression bottle we did earlier is at 600 PSI. We're on the flight deck. Again, pawl down, landing gear switch off, check. Select handle towards pilot, turn handle one revolution, check. Landing gear, starter, and feather pump circuit breakers in. One, two, three. All other circuit breakers check, and they're all set. Next one, bilge pump master on. And over your right shoulder, if you'd throw that first switch on, Thomas, all the way forward, throw it up to ship power, please. Throw it up. There you go. Okay, and dome lights are off, which I'm going to do now. Dome lights are off. Control locks are free and correct. I pull the stick all over my lap. I got left aileron, right aileron. Controls are free and correct. Mixture is at idle cutoff. Check. Ignition switch is left, right, off. Check. Emergency center switch on, on. Carburetor heat is cold. Check. Propellers are full. RPM. Check. Fuel is on both. I'm going to select both tanks. Engine fuel cutoff switches left and right are on, on. Fuel cross feed off, off. And trim tabs are set for land takeoff, plus one white, and zero, check. Next chest list, engine start. Master and field switches on, check. If manual engine not accomplished, motor each blade, nine blades, first flight of the day. We've not pulled it through today. I'm gonna leave the mags off. I'm gonna leave the engines idle cutoff, and we're gonna motor both engines, nine blades. Right engine clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That engine is clear. Left engine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's to verify we don't have a hydraulic lock. We're checked and good. Next thing I'm going to do is start uh, the left engine. And by doing that, I'm going to turn the fuel on, which is on. Notice I've got no fuel pressure. I'm going to wobble up fuel pressure. And I've got a very light pressure on the left engine. You can hold that for just a moment. Okay, I'm going to prime the left engine for start. All the way down. I charge the primer. One. Two. Three. Left engine's primed. Mixture's rich. Crack the throttles. Got to motor the left engine. Six blades to distribute the fuel evenly and then turn the mags on. Clear left. Two, three, four, five, six. Immediately looking for oil pressure. That's coming up, and fuel pressure has come up. Gonna let that stabilize for a minute. Turn the left start switch off. And now I'm going to turn the cross feed on. And I should get fuel pressure in the right engine. That verifies the mechanical pump on the left engine is feeding the right engine. That'll also charge my primer and it should have turned the light off. I'm going to prime the right engine. One, two, three. No 
motor six blades and hit the mags. One, two, three, four, five, six, mags on. Okay, it's under prime. Okay, another attempt. Pressure's coming up on the right engine. And shut the cross feed off. Fuel pressure sustained. Radio master on. Okay, check in. How do you read one, two, three? Okay, hey, clear. Loud and clear, five by five. Okay, we got the engines running and we verified we've got oil pressure on both engines. We've got fuel pressure on both engines. And things are relatively smooth. Oil temp's on its way. Induction temperature is on its way. I've set the ATIS up for the uh, tower, and I'm going to verify that the uh, comm is working, and we're all set.